times, but uh, you're definitely looking to see, hey, look, can we kind of keep poking at Rogue from a far back and not really worry about actually jumping in onto, you know, VA goes onto the short range Graves as well, short range of Felios. Rogue really need to find these big and B and Comp have a lane that they can push in pretty safely as the flash comes forward. That's only onto Mickey. He should be able to walk this one away. Graviton will get the Ruby. He's still got the thick skin. He'll pop it. Mavon flashing forward. There's the heal. Trimby. And Rogue invested a lot to try and make that happen. Flash and Ignite from Trimby. Heal from Comp. Flash from Malrang. And they're still not able to shut down the Catfish. Flash away once again as the Graviton finds its mark. Malrang looking for the gank. Mickey, you've got the thick skin. Heals him up just a little bit. Marion's is going to steal away these Krugs, and perhaps we'll see another gank happening. Nuke Duck has TP, but he's forced underneath his tower. Odo Omne has a TP of his own, and he's in the top side river. Rogue now pushing in. Marang will be spotted on these minions. XO, no. They're in a little bit of trouble here. Will Nuke Duck TP in? He can't, because Larson's there. Mickey's going to get away. But Mickey unable to save his AD carry. Devour no longer. A normal skill instead, it's an ultimate ability and how he rules that. Maorang channels uh. away, but the final shot will take him down. Mickey takes that We're two for seven one. minute mark. Maorang still a level four, 21 CS to the 43 for Markun. Markun will have a sizable window where he is level. kind of needed at this stage. Like, if Markun's actually able to match any of these ganks from Maorang, the 2v2, regardless of what lane it is, is going to be stronger just because of that difference. There was no ping there. Finn didn't know. He was unaware. El no sabe as he is caught out in the top oh. lane, trying to trade back onto Maorang, but the flash forward is enough. Super Mega Death Rocket he has yet Maorang. to get his steel shoulder guards upgraded, so there's not going to be as much vision around that bot side fight if it does start. Marcoon going forward, Odawane hit with a sonic wave, but once again, Maorang in the right place at the right time, stops the advance of the XL jungler. Odawane is able to force them out, pop the ghost, just in case he needed to do anything more in that fight. Trimpy's fighting down towards the bottom side as uh, Mickey and Patrick will keep him interested, but all this does is allow Larson time to push in that mid lane. There is a package available, as you said, Dagda. Mickey going in. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, Mickey, that's not what you want to do. Patrick has to flash afterwards as well. Mickey just perhaps thinking you could get the thick skin off before the damage yeah. came through. But this is super disjointed from XL, right? We just said Corky's on the bot side with the package. You're probably going to fight for this dragon. Now your package on the bot side has gone to waste. You didn't get the play in the top side that you tried to go for. Your mid lane now is falling apart. Get down with the quickness. Easy enough for Trimby and Larson. Patrick had no flash because of his positioning earlier. He and Mickey were caught out. Mickey paid with his life. Patrick paid with his flash and then with his life about 30 seconds later. And this is why I much prefer these compositions from Rogue. This is where you're actually able to use Trimby as an engage tool. Oftentimes what we saw in the Astralis game, end up falling behind it. There's very little that you can do in this scenario. You can see 15 minutes in, we are at a four and a half thousand gold lead for Rogue. They've got the first two dragons of the game. They can set up basically wherever they want. They've already cracked open a bot tier one and there's bounties for XL. That's just how far they are behind. And Mickey, once again, pays for his hubris a little bit. You thought you could start when you start to lose control of the map, you start to lose that vision. It becomes very difficult to operate the composition in the manner you want. You can definitely oh, yeah. be when G2 stopped looking clean. Yeah, yeah. And they needed fair. to find a dishwasher or something to you know, <laughs> scrub them up good. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that G2 game. Look, if you don't have something nice to say, you don't say anything at all, right? So <laughs> go back into Rogue's one. <laughs> right, Larison has full control over the spot side, and the, the 1v1 has been going great. Maybe for gets Larson. the kill, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, for Larson, and this is why I'm trying to surprise to see the counter pick, but Mickey hopping over the wall. Um, the counter pick for himself coming through for Nuke Duck, right? You already saw that Larson had picked up the victor. So, the Nuke Duke, we've seen the Rakans do well, Leonas do well, the engaged champions, but we've also seen the Namis, the Janas, this type of style do really well. The Finn and Patrick looking to get a little bit of bounty gold towards the bottom lane. They've already taken the top lane tower. They will get a bit more bounty gold here. It's 250 across the team, I believe, for an out like Moving up so we can threaten the reset that Finn's going for. So, tier one for tier two, I'm giving the advantage advantage to Rogue, even with the bounties, because of the map they play played through, but Rogue are just trying to pull the trigger on this Baron. Trimby? I mean, Makun has no health. Patrick flashes away. Trimby tries to get on the back line. Rogue continue on the Baron. Here it's on his way. No needlework. No Super Mega Death Rocket. Mickey going forward. Kick back could be huge, but Makun's unable to get it off in time. Mickey low. Nuked up, forced away towards the bottom side. Shutdown goes over to Mickey. That's not really who you want it on, but Patrick and XL are not done yet. Trippy dies out of the back of the bit. The Heartbreaker goes short. The Baron's secured. Rogue will be able to get out. Quite a bit of punch behind them. It's probably not enough to work through Rogue unless Rogue are willing to let you wail away for a few minutes. 
And you can see Rogert just again denying so much vision in the uh, the side of XL's jungle, so it becomes really difficult to try and engage. Gonna be looking for the quickness. Mickey gets the thick skin off, but he is dead as he stands. Comp takes the kill. Package picked up by Nuke Duck. Super Mega Death Rocket blocked. Minion Wave will be culled. Comp chunked out a little bit here by Nuke Duck and XL advancing forward. You can see Finn has a big flank. There's a lot of vision for Rogue. They'll spot him out if he decides to come all the way around. Nuke Duck spotted on award as well. Rogue able to get away. They take the inhibitor. They take Mickey. And they continue to take away the XL jungle. Finn diving in. Oh, do I need low needle work? Little bit wide twice there. And Finn missed all the needles. And because of that, he will fall. Rogue find another kill. And XL feel like they're playing 4v5 most of this game. And it was close to XL being able to make that work. If those needle works had gone through, maybe you take the pick as oh package. I mean package of the Larson is good here. He hasn't got the flash. Nuke Duck's able to take down one man man will fall as well as will Larson. They do answer with a kill onto Patrick, but Compa and Oduamne are low. Mickey going forward with the Abyssal Voyage. Oduamne starts to chase away. Immortal Shield Bow not up for him. Trimby once again in the right place at the right time. Mickey uses the devour. Nuke Duck has no missiles left. Nothing to fire onto this rogue line. The phosphorus bomb will not be enough as XL have to retreat once again. It's a nice attempt from XL. They do manage to get some picks back, but overextend and now Rogue pushing in. Should be able to crack up the base and the minions. Are they've we, taken an extra. No way we're gonna have another disco. <laughs> Fighting, of course, with Fnatic for first. Trimby once again in a good position. Quickness into the dashboard. This is really good with Khan playing. Trimby's done this a few times. I just want to highlight it. Mark Kuhn able to it. Oh, okay. That was less good with Khan play, and we're going to see a fight down towards the bottom side as Finn tries to get away. TP coming in. Finn will survive. Collateral damage not enough. Nuke going to try and Valkyrie away. Marang going forward. Lands the stun with a Spectral Morbid. It's only onto Mickey. Marang pops a stopwatch, but he's got nowhere to go. And XL find. Two kills on the and test Rogue. Yeah, 5,000 HP already on that Baron. Markoon looking for the steal, but Rogue chunked out a little bit. Odo, I'm now on the front line. 2,000 on it now. Markoon could get in, can't steal it in time. TPs though. Dragon's Rage kick only onto Marang. Moonlight Vigil going wide. Finn onto the back line. How immune is Gwen? Not enough is the answer as Rogue find another kill. And they get the Baron out of it as well. Patrick now on the retreat with XL. What do we got in terms of ultimates? No kick for Markoon. TP. That's a flank from the victor, Larson in the right position to show them the glory of Hextech. Larson finds his first. It's a glorious evolution for Rogue as he gets the double. And Rogue staring down the face of only two members of XL, very happy to tank up these towers. Patrick will fall as well. And Rogue will claim their spot in the top four of Europe. So well executed from Rogue from start to finish, taking over bot, getting those three winning lanes, and now they will rightfully claim the Nexus as these minions start to work their way in. The Nexus may be more of a side quest right now for Rogue as they're looking for those spawns on the fountain. Baron up minions will do the work. Finn on the fountain won't be able to do too much. Rogue 12 and 3 with a demolition of XL. Don't know if it was intentional, but I appreciate the JD game.